Well, hello everyone. This year, the second annual Lean Global Leadership Summit will be held in Fort Collins, Colorado at Xylem Design. And I arrived there on Thursday afternoon where we did a tour of Greg's place and it was really quite remarkable. We had over five countries represented and about 60 people. The shop was really very well organized and the lean improvements were evident everywhere we went. We started off the day though by going to their morning meeting, which they actually have in the afternoon. And LJ and Greg led the meeting and they showed some of the cool videos they were making and all the matrix that they measure on a daily basis. And then we went in and toured the entire facility, broke up into groups, and we saw each team present on their lean improvements and how lean was being implemented in the company. It was quite fascinating. We went into the office, we saw they have a webcam that actually allows the customer to see them and they see the customer and they can show them the product. Now what they make is pedestals for people like Tiffany's and so forth. And sometimes people don't know what those pedestals look like. So we went over that as well as their Kanban system, which was really quite remarkable. They have a mini Kanban and a large Kanban system. And we went over that whole system just to see how everything worked. And it was quite detailed. One of my favorite things is the picture actually on the Kanban. And then all their departments are color coded, which is another cool feature. And this is a mini Kanban getting wrapped up in something that was small. Then when we went to Greg's station, he gave us a history of the company and how we all got started. And basically a little chicken shack or a little coop uh, back in Pennsylvania. It's really quite remarkable, his beginnings and where he's come to today. And he had a lot of great quotes from a lot of people who really influenced his thinking about how he runs his company. And of course, uh, Richio Shingo, one of my favorites. Richio knows how to cut to the chase. What you say, you have a hobby you're running here? If he doesn't like the way things are running, he calls it a hobby. And then Greg had lots of good quotes and perspectives on the difference between people and processes. Now they are both very, very important. Then we went over to the custom area where Aaron and Patrick showed us how they manage it through the book of knowledge. So every time they have all these custom processes that are coming up, rather than just trying to reinvent the wheel every time, they carefully document them in what they call the book of knowledge. And LJ gave us an overview on his role in both HR and management. And it was very interesting. He gave us a great analogy. He said, hey, it's like you put on your socks and then your shoes. You have to get them in the right order. The first thing you have to do is get the right people on the bus, that's the socks. And then you put on the shoes and then you develop great processes. But you have to get it in that order. And LJ is so pithy and witty and thoughtful about the way he approaches management. He's given me my favorite quote of all time. Once you see waste, you can't unsee it. He is so right on. So we spent about a total of two hours touring around Xylem Design and seeing how they make pedestals. And I'm just gonna give you a quick overview real quick on the shop so you have a big perspective, kind of a global view. It's quite a large operation. Uh, Greg has really emphasized the idea of white on everything, lots of white melamine. It really reveals uh, defects. And there were about eight different teams going from station to station. And it was very, very interesting. And these people were totally engaged. And that's probably one of the most overwhelming things that we noticed. Now, what we're gonna see here is absolutely incredible as every pedestal is completed they actually make a video that they present to the customer before the customer gets it so if there's something's not right the customer can actually say hey you know what that wasn't exactly what i wanted how personal is this watch this it's incredible what they do janelle what's going on i'm jeff and antonio and we're here at zion's pedestal source and i have one of your two pedestals right here what do you got antonio today we have a 11 and a half by 11 and a half by 36 inches tall. And looking at the paperwork, that's exactly what you wanted. So we got it right. You got two of those. One's already in a box. We'll get this one in a box and go on the FedEx truck, go on your address on Cortland Ave in San Francisco, California. So we'll be looking for it. And when you get it, when you get it and wrap it, it's a whole new Christmas. But when you have it set up and everything, we'd really like to see a video or a picture of what's going to be right there. Absolutely. I want to hear from you. I'm sure it's something really cool. I want to see it. Plus, it lets me know you got your pedestals in good shape. So thanks again for your business, and you have a great day. Thank you. So what they do is they immediately upload that to YouTube, send it to the sales office, the send sales office sends it to the customer. Within 15 minutes, the customer has that. Before it ever ships, the customer sees it and says, wow, that was personal. 
totally blows them away, turns them into raving fans, return customers. And if for some reason something's not right, the customer could notify them and say, hey, the address wasn't right because they called out the address or the color wasn't right or the size wasn't right. And they can stop a potential defect right like that. It's really a remarkably innovative and creative way to communicate and work with their customers. Now, the thing is, this item really has this nail because they do this also with their webcam. The customer has any question about anything, they bring the pedestal in and they show them the pedestal and they talk about it right there. It's so cool and so innovative. You guys just nail. You make quality control fun. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly, it's exactly what, you what it is. It's exactly you make what you do. Quality control fun. Well, well put. And right. you involve your customer yeah. in the quality control. They, and they have more trust, more trust and faith in what they're doing. Unbelievable. Crazy. Yeah, like I said, we get tons of feedback. I, had, I did one for Wheel of Fortune. They sent me a box of stuff, T-shirts, stuff from the. No wheel. way. Yeah, yeah. Little, little guys that made sound like it was awesome. Oh yeah. Wow. I've gotten food from some people. They're like, he looks hungry. I'm like, okay. <laughs> he looks hungry. <laughs> but yeah. But so after we had a great tour, we met over at Everyday Joe's, where we really began the seminar program of the whole event and everyone got together we cavorted a little bit we had a few beers a few drinks we had some food and then we actually started people with the presentations that were made for each of the companies and it was just absolutely fascinating to see every company present for about 15 minutes and about a 15 minute q a time very very interesting we heard lots of great presentations from people in basically five different countries and it was really really cool we learned a ton and then the next morning we got together again and we began the seminar talks and they went basically from eight in the morning till about five at night and then we got together and had dinner but we had presenters come from high-tech industries like making nuclear reactors to people making pedestals to people making peel and stick cover caps like myself everybody had a chance to talk and learn from one another and it was absolutely fascinating Including William Bailey telling us the eight ways. Can you believe this? Transportation, inventory, defects, over processing, motion, motion, waiting, unused needle. Wow, you're awesome. All I can say is William is amazing. Then we had a beautiful dinner on the last night and the next morning we went hiking and we got some great pictures with all our friends, Philippe from Portugal. It was really great. And then we gathered to go hiking up the Twin Sisters and a little bit of confusion in the morning, but we finally figured out where the trailhead is and we made it all the way to the top, I think 11,000 feet. It was so beautiful. Estes Park is a great place to go hiking and what a great venue to be able to enjoy some really good learning and then some beautiful outdoor scenery and beautiful clear weather. Everything was absolutely perfect. Everybody made it to the top. And of course, Pedro brought the Portugal flag and that was really, really cool. And we got a picture of him sleeping with it. He was so happy that he made it to the top and just a lot of celebration. And boy, was it just fantastic. We just had a great time assembled for a bunch of pictures and we got some good ones and we walked down and LJ gave me a great talk about the eight ways of emotions and that is for another episode. Well, thank you for joining me on another episode of the American Innovator and back to the Global Lean Leadership Summit. It was fantastic and if you missed it, maybe you'll see us next year in Cambridge Manufacturing in St. Louis.